All right, guys. Hey, so we're going to go in this garden. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what happened in this garden after it rained. So if you want to see what i seen in this garden, stay tuned. All right, guys. So today we are looking in the garden and seeing what happened to this garden after it rained. I left my plants out in the garden, you know, just to still get this extra sun it needs and everything like that. So let's see what happened in this garden today. All right. So let's start with this tomato plant here. This is a patio bush plant here. I've been trying to keep it pruned, as you guys can see, to make sure that it's getting the proper air at the bottom it needs. And as you guys can see, she is beautiful. She is growing, 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 all right? So, and I got a lot of fruits on her that I cannot wait to harvest and taste, guys. She's beautiful. So we're just going to leave her alone. I pruned her already down there, as you guys can see. Lemon plant, uh, she's doing well. She's doing well. Here is my candy cane pepper plant here. And to my knowledge, pepper plants take a long time to grow. So we're just going to let her enjoy her life, all right? There she is. In all her glory. And this is the candy cane pepper plant. I cannot wait to harvest her when she's ready. All right, guys? Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, here is another bush plant here. She is definitely pruned at the bottom, as you guys can see. Um, just got to prune her some more here. There you go. She looks good. So, there you go. She's no fruit yet. But it's okay. Alright, and there is another lemon plant. She looks good. And we're going to keep her looking well. As you guys see, I've been trying to do some weeding too in this little bed. So like here, we can pull that out. Pull these out. Okay. That one, there we go. Okay, so that's what we did with the pruning. Now, look at this tomato plant. I'm gonna have to stalk her up, but I think I'm just gonna cut her back because she's really, really tall. Okay, she doesn't look like she wants to give me any fruit on the top of here, so that's why I said I'm just gonna cut her back to about here. About here. Yeah, but she gave me fruit there and there, guys. And she has her babies coming out there, all right? So I'm just going to stick her up some. She looks awesome. All right, this is another pepper plant here. And this one is... Oh, the banana. So I can't wait for that one to come up either. Like I said, pepper plants come up, take a long time to come up, and it's okay. So we'll wait. This is another cherry tomato. This is the chocolate sprinkles. Hello, how you doing? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, this is chocolate sprinkles. She has one baby on her. There she is, I'm excited for that. I have to stick her up and cage her up too, but excited. She looks good. I might wanna prune, well, I'm not gonna prune her. I'm not going to prune her because I want her to push out. Um, but yeah, she has one baby there. I'm excited. Can't wait to taste her. All right, there's my banana plant there. I have one more that's in my other, that's in my tent. I'm doing an experiment. Um, dun, dun, dun. So we have a dead plant here. These were my cantaloupes, but they burnt up in the sun. So now that I moved them the roots are still good um the the leaves burnt up in the sun so i moved them now they're under this rose bush here remember this rose bush i told you guys she wanted to do what she wanted to do so we let her so but she gives great shade so i put her under there and then i moved the other bag of cantaloupe here and as you see one died too remember i put three and three and these two survived Spinach is looking lovely. Lovely. We are going to be strong like pie pie, honey. Yes, 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 yes. Gorgeous, isn't she? Blueberry bush. She's looking good and healthy. I fed everything out here yesterday. Look at these potatoes. 
These potatoes are gonna be beautiful and gorgeous and I can't wait to see how much we harvest. This is a seven gallon grow bag. All right guys, seven gallon grow bag of potatoes, white Yukon potatoes. All right. And over there are my sweet potatoes. I'm so excited guys for those sweet potatoes because before I put them out here, they were still on the maroon side of the leaves. And I'm glad because now they're beautifully green, healthy looking. And I'm excited for those. All right, guys. Here is my sugar baby watermelons. I will be putting the cage in here soon for her. So two came up so far. I'm excited for that. Also, my collard greens. You guys already know I've been harvest er, a couple times. And they are delicious. And they are growing back. How you get these to grow back is always pinch from the outside. All right looking good looking good now another death in here this is my blue um, spruce my blue spruce shrub <sighs> she died I don't know what happened she, she broke off I came out here and she was broken so uh, I just stuck her back in some more dirt here hopefully it will take I'm not certain I'm not sure so we will see but I mean she's still doing something all right, now guys, we had another death. <laughs> three deaths on our little garden. So in the middle, these three right here on this here, these are my lima beans. In the middle, the one broke off because I guess it grew close to the cage, so it broke. But you have those other two growing up nicely. And then over here, we have our hanging basket cucumbers. Yay, so excited. I can't wait. I cannot wait to try these. So, yeah. All right. And then my pomegranate tree, guys. No, I cannot wait to try her out. She's small. You know, this is a dwarf pomegranate pomegranate tree i do want to get some regular pomegranate so i can harvest those seeds so i can have those too but these are the dwarf size ones here and i cannot wait for these to grow up and bloom and she has one so far all right guys now my onions um they're starting to blossom again i had to repot them because they were in a smaller pot and the roots were just you could just see the roots so i repotted her and we're gonna see what she does and these are your scallions Cabbage. Look at this cabbage, guys. This cabbage looks amazing. It looks good. Now, let me tell you, the browning on this cabbage, because I had it in another spot where it was just too sunny and it burnt the cabbage. But once I moved the cabbage, it just flourished. And I'm going to have like six heads on here, guys. Look at this. Amazing. You just stick this in some dry soil and you're good to go, guys. I'm telling you, they will flourish out. So once these get a little bigger, I'm just going to chop them up into six parts and put them in their own pot so they can grow. These are gorgeous. I cannot wait to eat this head of cabbage. And this just came off of the stalk. Okay, so I regrew this cabbage and now I grew six heads. All right, I do have my flowers growing. Let's see if you can see her. There she is. Is she? Wait a minute. Oh, there she is. She's hiding by the roots. There she is. That's going to be the blue iris. I forget what this one's going to be. Down there. Alright, this is going to be my sweet mint. I'm going to chop her all the way back down. Let her grow. I do see new leaves coming, but I'm just going to chop her all the way back and let her start all over again. This is my experiment. I chopped all the way back already because I wanted to just start all over again fresh and new. This is broccoli. So I can wait for this to start growing up. I did see it has new roots on it, so that's awesome. Carrots, guys. Carrots. Look at that. I'm so excited that my carrots are up. These are going to be the uh, small finger size carrots, so I'm happy for that. And they're growing up really nicely. Really nice. I don't know what plant that is. My boyfriend brought it home and I just put it in, the, in there and we'll see. This is my strawberry patch. Um, this was in another area, but it gained so much water in there. It didn't drain well. So, and it didn't, 
really keep the sun on it so that's what i moved into this area here the sun is just starting to dissipate from this area now but it took a long time so that's why i just moved on to this area and we'll, we'll be having some strawberries soon eggplant look at my eggplant poor thing this thing right here she absorbed water so quickly that she got spots all over look at her you see that this is not from bugs or anything like this. This is from spots of water. It rains so much. She absorbs so much water so quickly, but she's still flourishing and she does have her spikes on there. You see that, them thorns on there? So you gotta be careful with this plant, All right? This thing will hurt you. And this is the Black Beauty eggplant. But she still looks healthy. And then my orange plant is looking lovely. Yes. Looking good. Alright guys, I'm doing my little mess here of uh, whatever I throw down in that little area, the little compost area. And put her down, she looks like she grew a little. I don't know these plants here, but they need to tell me what these plants are. Someone in the description, so my boyfriend bought them. Um, they didn't bring with tag, so. But these are beautiful. I think they're ground runners, so, but they're beautiful. And then, and then look at this tree right here. The tree gorgeous. My rose bush, she's growing up beautiful. She got new. I think we need to chop her down some more. She just grew out so much. I love it. This is my garden, guys. <coughs> All right, guys. So don't forget, let's grow together so we can eat together. Thank you.